Hello everyone, we're at Seacon Square on the ground floor. It's a new buffet we're going to try out today. So, well, let's, there's a couple of the new, new restaurants. Let's take a walk by and figure out what we're going to eat. Oh, Seoul over there. I've eaten at one of those at a different mall. It was okay. Manchan. So 349 this is like less than, this is a $10 buffet. This one has a 300 baht buffet. Tokpoki buffet. Okay. Or you do have a better buffet up there. Seafood and pork. And the base one is pork and chicken. That's, that sounds about right. That's the way that most of them are. Chicken standard. Today's Saturday, by the way, so I guess on Saturdays they only have the buffet. Look at, that. Look at that setup those guys have going. Yeah, couldn't catch it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I think you understood that. 49 baht and you get, you know, drinks. So anyways, I, I confirmed. The soft drink and the ice cream are buffet. So you can have as much ice cream or soft drinks as you want. Okay, so yeah, standard stuff, you gotta scan this QR code, go to this website, and let's see how the app works out. Okay, you can eat here for two hours, so that's actually more than normal. Yeah, most places are only 90 minutes, so, okay. Uh, Pepsi Max cup. See if I can, oh yeah, they have English here as well. Although, actually, the English doesn't really seem to work. That that text doesn't change. My do near I my me pasang I think that's radish. I'm gonna order one. My me, Tom C. My Pian, on Go Hook. There's some noodles. Looks like maybe. I don't know what that is. Seaweed. I don't even know if you can read this menu. So let me just go through the menu quickly so you don't have to watch me order stuff. There's lettuce, onion, oyster mushrooms. But yeah, see, there's certain things they just don't have English listed. You just have to, I mean, it's a buffet, I guess. But at all buffets, they charge money if you leave a bunch of extra food around. <laughs> this doesn't even have photographs. So I think they gotta hire some people and finish off this menu. Yeah, that's not good. Possibly maybe the internet's slow here. That's the problem with all these mobile phone things. Okay, well, I'll get back to you when I have some food. Okay, so the table, they just give you this uh, suki sauce already. That's very uh, limey. A lot of lime juice in that. And then on the table we have these three un unknown things. Obviously that's garlic, but these two sauces. So this right sauce is this one. So that's a soybean paste. 
Uh, and then this is, uh, I guess, another one, but... Hmm, I almost taste... Well, this soybean paste here has a lot of garlic in it. Whereas this one, I think, is just a plain soybean paste. What I like is they have the uh, sesame oil on the table, as well as some yakiniku sauce. So, sesame oil, some fresh black pepper, and some salt makes a really good dip for uh, Korean barbecue. I will note, uh, you, get a do, you do get bottled soda here. Although that seems wasteful, you know that the carbonation is going to be perfect. It's not going to be flat or over carbonated. So that's good. And then, yeah, I guess here's a better look at the menu. So we're eating the standard one. And this thing has English on it, so I'm not sure why the, the app doesn't have all the English in it when the menu does. So then if you go up to $5.99, you get seafood, basically, and a little bit of beef. That reflection's horrible. Okay. And then if you go to $6.99, then you got Australian Wagyu, and Wagyu Karubi, and salmon. So that's what's going on. So you can see the stuff showing up, and it actually looks very fresh, very good. What's missing is the actual fire to cook this stuff. But I can at least eat the kimchi here for you. So unfortunately, this, this place uses those really thin stainless chopsticks, which are really difficult to use, but obviously easy to uh, clean and very hygienic. Mm. Wow. That is some crispy, crunchy, sweet radish. It's very good. That might be the best pickled radish I've had in this country. The radish feels so crunchy. Anyways, here's some kimchi. Nice small pieces, easy to eat. Hmm. Wow, that's a good kimchi. It's really hard to describe, you know, kimchi other than being sour. It's not really, it's not spicy at all. It looks, although it would look spicy, I don't find it spicy whatsoever. But it's obviously got a fermented flavor to it and a very sour flavor as well. But it's very good. So they do, they do give you two sets of tongs. And the plates being on stainless dishes, that seems pretty hygienic. And also, these dishes stack up very easily. They don't take up too much space. So, they have a whole bunch of marinated, you know, soy sauce or marinated with some sort of red chili sauce. Got some pork belly here. Well, let me come back when this is all cooked up. So some finished goods came. These are supposed to be beef raviolis. So let's take a look. Well, it was crispy on the outside, that's for sure. Hmm. Very soft and moist on the inside. Personally, I don't think it's beef. I think it's pork. But it tastes good. It's like a fried, fried ravioli. It's not much else to it. Maybe with some sauce. Okay, some french fries. Oh yeah, those are crispy. That's good. Nothing worse than soggy french fries, which actually happens quite often in this country. I don't know why. Alright, this is supposed to be the spicy, the spicy Korean chicken. But I have a suspicion it's going to be sweet. A lot of sauce. That definitely looks crispy. Well, 
the batter makes it very crispy, that's for sure. It's a very crispy chicken, which is nice. But yes, the sauce is very sweet. Hmm. So if you like... If you like honey barbecue wings, that's what this tastes like. But with, with spiciness. This actually is a spicy chicken wing. It just also happens to be sweet. It's just as sweet as it is spicy. But it feels like it was freshly freshly fried. You know, look how moist it is in there. It doesn't seem like it's old at all. Okay, so now we obviously have some stuff ready to go. It's a marinated piece of pork. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Uh, the marination has very little flavor. There's so much flavor going on already. Uh, this one looks like a soy marinade because it's browner. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that was unmarinated. It, uh, it didn't have any flavor to it other than the meat itself. The meat, by the way, is, is very moist. It's soft. It, uh... It doesn't... It seems pretty good cuts of meat. You know how pork dries out and gets all dry and nasty? Well, this one doesn't. So... Yeah, it's very good. Let's try some of this. Oh yeah, it's delicious with the, uh, the sesame oil, salt, and pepper. Mm. Yeah. So all that all that meat tastes pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it at all. So <laughs> here's some ramen. Try the soup. So this soup stock has like a taste of clams in it or some sort of seafood in there. It's not spicy at all. It's a, uh, I guess a medium strength flavor. It, the flavor is definitely there, but it's not super powerful, which is fine. Okay, well, I think that's it. You know, it's not much much food selection when the buffet only costs like thirteen dollars with the with the drinks and ice cream. So I guess I'll come back later on with the ice cream. I'm gonna take a little savory break for some ice cream here. So this is malt chocolate, supposedly. Yeah, it kind of tastes like one of those malt balls. Uh, it's pretty good. It's actually good. It's good old vanilla. They also have a lime and I think strawberry. Also, they give it a five star on Google Maps. It'll actually upgrade you to uh, some haagen -Dazs, but I'm too lazy to do that. No, even the vanilla is good, actually. This is good ice cream. I don't know what brand it is. But <laughs> it tastes pretty good. Okay. So possibly they give you the receipt up front. This 7% uh, tax, but I don't see anything regarding tip. But basically it's 800 baht or so, or, or 400 baht a person. Which is like 11, 12 dollars I think. So that's pretty crazy they can get an all meat buffet. You know, with all these extra sides for that kind of money. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the food here. All the food here is fine. No, no problems. I almost feel like the only reason why this place might go out of business is the, uh, these chopsticks are a pain to eat with. And this is the, oh, <laughs> a lot of restaurants use these things. 
But also, it's just a location. I don't think anyone knows this is here. Because it's not on the floor with all the restaurants. It's on the ground floor. Okay, well, anyways, if you want a nice cheap buffet, I think you should come and check this place out. Look at that. It's delicious. Alright, take care. See you in the next restaurant.